Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlo Wars Adventure in Factorio. And this is our Let's Learn series. And yeah, so this is our copper mine that I set up here off camera. I just basically put power to it. And I established these in a way so that way it gets completely drained. So obviously some things are going to be used up faster than others. And since these are operating, let's put some more efficiency modules in. So I've been making those efficiency modules so that way they use less electricity. And then I have this copper tie into the main system up over here through this bell thing here. And yeah. So then we have these go all the way back. Uh, let's see here. I'm just kind of checking up. So that one's almost done too. Let's go check up on these guys up here. These I think are doing quite well. And yeah. So I need to clear these out. Oh, I need to repair this because I've been getting some attacks as well. Oh, this one's pretty nasty. Okay. How's the bullets in this one? So I'm still producing bullets like a crazy person. Uh, they seem to get used up pretty quickly as well. So I need to replenish these guys here right now. There's probably a fast way of doing this, but I'm not sure what that is. I've tried to read the controls a bit for that, but it's something to do with the mouse clicks and stuff. And yeah, I've been also doing some fishing since these are a great source of healing, so to speak. Ah, it's too far away. Oh, there we go. Which is kind of weird, but hey, I don't mind that. And so whenever I see fish, I go and harvest them out. So let's repair this stuff here. Okay, and repair this turret system. Drop those. Okay, so let's pick... No, that's not... This one's done. So let's pick this guy up. Uh, as well, we got some two efficiency modules. How about in here? Do we have a couple efficiency modules? Let's put them there. That one does. I don't think this one does. No, okay. But that's okay. Let's see what the power is like. Left click on this. Uh, it's fluctuating, right? Up and down, up and down. As the manufacturers, or these guys, the assembling machines kick in. I do have the radar. But the radar is based off of these solar panels. So each of those solar panels are powering the radar. Crude oil is actually being consumed? Wow. So I might need to slow down the process here. Well, light oil, heavy oil. This is cracking into light oil and then light oil into petroleum. And that will disengage when that fills up. So actually, I don't mind this. We'll see what happens with the crude. I might have to tie in some more, some more, what is it, more oil things. Um, there is some oil deposits here I can tie into and potentially oh yeah this is the railway I started to build there's some deposits here that we can go after we exterminate all these guys so yeah I was thinking out here I was gonna build a field of solar collectors I think right in here why not uh, with some some accumulators I think I want to build some accumulators as well where are we accumulators these guys they need iron plates and batteries and we're being attacked over on the side here and I'm not sure where it's coming from because I do have the radar unit in, in force here and I can't see where they're coming from you can see where I built these little lines where I took out other bases um, up here I think I took out this line yeah, I, I took out the line that went this way. But there's oil everywhere. There's, It's pretty cool. So I want to put more radar units out here as well. So that way we have good coverage. And so we can see. I don't know where those guys are coming from over here. Potentially from here, but I'm not too sure. So yeah, okay. Let's carry on with this. Now these guys are building these things which I take these processing units oh and circuits are backed up actually wow ok 
Okay, that's exactly what I want to see because I have, I have them being built here and here. But then red circuits need to kick in. Why is this not working? Is it because it's not getting enough? Hmm. What happens if we do one of these guys? Like that. Let's see if that kind of improves the the, uh, the construction of these guys. Uh, let's see here. Got 200 in there. So I don't need that many in here. Let's just grab them all. Okay, let's check out this ammo, which is using up the steel. Ah, that sucks. I need more steel. These things, I need more of these. Because it's not being created fast enough. I need to double this production, basically. Hmm. Also, this whole design, I'm thinking of tearing all up and re rebuilding it. But at the moment... Uh, let's see, I want... Mm, where can I build these accumulators? I'm kind of coming up to the end of the wall here, but our... Our system here is still continuing, but we need batteries and iron plates. So maybe I can bring down the iron plates and the batteries. And maybe just combine them together. So, so for example, if we do the batteries, maybe we can bring the batteries down. Hmm. Maybe do it sooner. Maybe pick that up and put it there. And then we can do the iron plates. So that means we need to put these underground. Well, maybe not all of them underground, but this we gotta extend out. Okay, then we put this guy underground again. Um, maybe to there. And then we gotta put this underground. And then we gotta put these, but on any more underground belts. Woohoo! Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Looks like there's attack from the south. And I know there's a base down here somewhere. See right here, you can see them? The little red dot. I think there's a base down here, so we're gonna have to go and take care of that. Yeah, we're gonna have to take care of all these. Which I'm not sure how we're going to achieve that, but we will try. But let's get these accumulators producing. So I'm going to split this, so then basically this keeps going, so does that, and then I want to kind of, okay, let's break that up, and I want to do that, put it one less, okay. And then I think we have to bring these underground as well. But we can do it one less. Okay. And then now, since we need both, we can combine them. So I think we can do it like this. We can do that. Oh, shit. That's okay. And then we just do this pick it up so yeah I got them on me which is good I can probably throw them down here let's see here I figured out how to do that now which is Z I think uh, let's do it right here Z Z Z Z let's throw them on since we don't need them Perfect, now it's all jammed up. <laughs> okay, so let's chop up some trees. So these are going to make accumulators, basically. So I think I can just do it right here. Probably just like that, so it's powered. Maybe even replace this guy with a bigger one right there. Probably take... Nah, can't take that out. Okay, that sucks. Okay. And then we can put in an inserter here. Like that, I think we do. And then with these, we want to build accumulators right here. Bang. 
Let's see if it works. Yeah, the battery. Perfect, perfect. So let's build a steel chest to store them in. And yeah, there we go. Here we go. And then we want to, of course, limit to how many accumulators we want. Which is basically the box. The box filled with them here. Let's see here. Yeah, perfect. So these accumulators basically are going to help with the whole the whole system. It's going to help us use batteries, I think, as well, which will help production of this stuff, the sulfuric acid, because now there's a backlog of the sulfur, which means that petroleum will not really be used. That means it's going to build up, and this stuff, well, we're going to continue to do what we do with it. And we got both of these systems. So these are basically going to probably... I'm going to disengage this one. Ooh, efficiency module 3. So I'm going to turn this one off. There we go. So this one's now off. And this is the only one that's running now. Which is fine. Uh, how much oil? We don't have much crude oil. So I might just disengage. Well, no, we'll let it run. We'll let it do its thing. But we'll just let one do its thing. Well, these can all still do what they do. Let's make some more regular poles. One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three. Okay, we'll do that. Uh, what else will we do? Let's throw the wood into here. Let's just wait for it to cycle through. Okay, so we got that in mind. Yeah, so basically I doubled this up here so that way we can slowly use it up. Um, the plan is to to have these empty here. I'm thinking of changing this into a smart chest system uh, so that way then you can prioritize if there's wood in there you pull out the wood versus the the other items but I think this will be okay for now so everything should be going good with this just these I need to improve which I can't because there's this stuff in the way hmm gets tricky nothing's really attacked which is good looks like things are starting to back up again these are continuing to produce Let's throw some more of these guys in here. Okay. Oh, and I need to do research. I haven't done research. Okay. So what kind of research are we going to do? Maybe with some purple packs? Maybe piercing shotgun. Maybe we'll increase the bullet damage. This stuff, because this is the turrets use that stuff, right? Laser turret. Gun turret. Let's do the gun turret upgrade 5, which will use up a bunch of research. Maybe not. Maybe we'll want things to back up. So what else can we research that would be relatively... Let's do this one, just the green and red. Sounds like a plan. So that will be these two that get used up. So we'll do that. Now... Okay, more ammo. Perfect. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to run down along these to make sure these have 100 shots in them. Because these, need, you definitely need to have the full complement. So we don't have to worry about them. And actually, it's been quite quiet, and I'm surprised about that. Let's turn off the autosave here. Or is it other autosave? Because I had it set for... 30 minutes, but it doesn't seem to work properly as it should. Let's give this a quick save. Uh, I think I have about 15 minutes left. Okay, so we're making accumulators. That should still be going, so let's grab those. Uh, let's grab a bunch of solar panels and let's start building the array. Just grab them all so they can be used. 
let's run out here. We'll have to build some turrets to protect that. Maybe use laser turrets. I don't know. Not sure if they'll even attack it. So where do I want to build it? All right. Well, I was thinking in this huge area here. Maybe just build it right in between here. So let's just start placing and we'll go from there. So there's an array that people do. I think one, two, three. I think this is what people do. They create a pattern. Uh, we need one of these. There you go. People create a pattern like that. Now let's build more of these. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then they do the same pattern again. And yeah. And what this will do is this should provide power during the day. So that means it will reduce our pollution from the steam engines drastically, hopefully. So I think I'm going to make a grid of... I'm not sure. So let's just connect these up. Let's see how far we can get to this belt here yeah let's do that one okay bang bang okay put that one there and the accumulators I'm not sure where we're gonna put those maybe we'll put those on the other side so for example the accumulators where are we here we are Yeah, I'm not sure. So maybe we'll do another row. Okay. Uh, let's do one more row. Oops. Okay. Nope. Now the reason I'm building them like this is because one of these encompasses all of them. And let's build one more set here. Okay. Oh, I'm out anyways. So let's hook these up. Uh, okay, that researched quickly. Let's do another one that just has green in it. Looks like everything's going to... Oh, there's some portable solar panel. That's for the suits. That's for the suit as well. So yeah, let's do that anyways. We'll need to research that anyhow. Okay, got that one, that one. Okay, so I think this will be the end of it. And then the accumulators can all fit in an array. So maybe what I want to do is... I think like this. There's a way of creating... And I think we put this accumulator like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Of course, we'll have to wire these up. Um, how big is this area? Maybe we'll do something similar. Uh, that attack is down there. Okay. Turrets are being damaged. But it's usually just one shot that happens, right? So. So let's build these things. Ah, okay, see, if you look at that. Uh, okay, you can encompass a little bit of them. But you're going to miss. Hmm. Okay, it's going to cause me to rethink how these guys are going to be built. Okay, and then we need to build transmission lines. All right, so it's connected into the network. Okay. Now 
why aren't these charging? They should be hooked in, right? Unless they need to be hooked in, hooked in. So, for example, like that. Maybe that will do it. Now these should only be basically working at night. So my understanding of accumulators is they basically charge up during the day and then at night they activate. And then all of these solar panels are basically going to allow us to build more power. Now I wanted to build more tracks but I need stone for that. Which means we need to run back into our base. How's this stuff here? This stuff, 100, 100. So these are connected in, but I'm not sure if they're operating because you don't see them animating, right? So I don't know how to even get these started, right? That's so weird. Okay, now if we grab this. For some reason, they weren't hooked in properly. Huh. No, see, it stops anyways. And I'm not sure why. And I have no idea. So let's just put those there and the heck with it. <laughs> so let's run back to the base here. Yeah. Okay, let's repair this guy. Uh, how much... Ammo. I got a little bit of ammo, so let's see how much more ammo we have here. Here there'll be more accumulators we can take. Okay. Let's grab those. And of course we're using up the chips, <laughs> the circuits again. Let's grab some more of those guys. Let's see how many we have up here. How about for for these dudes here? Yeah, we can grab those. Okay. How about ammo? Let's see how much we got for ammo here. Ammo. Okay, a little bit of ammo. And then here we got some wood that we need to get rid of. Let's see here. Where is that? I think that's right down here. Oh, yeah. Let's get that wood in there. Perfect. Okay, now these guys, we need to replace it with a 50. And then these will all get used up, hopefully, eventually. Yeah, hopefully. So now the wood will get used up, so it's good. The coal's still doing good. How about this crude oil stuff? Well, we only have the one being, or being productive. Uh, let's see here. we got some copper deposits, I think, that we'll need to manage. Just make sure that there's efficiencies in these guys. Yeah, how about anyone here operating? Not really, hey? Up here there is, though. This guy's going. This guy's going. This one, and this one. Okay. And, and basically, as they get used up, I'll add the efficiency stuff to them. Uh, how about here? How's this stuff doing? Okay, okay. Uh, let's see. I think these are a hundred, pretty much. Let's go. Oh, that one has still lots of stone. Yeah, we need to grab some stone from here. So this is our box that has a bunch of stone. Let's see. Yeah. Oh yeah, we got plenty. Grab that. Let's build some tracks. Maybe it's build all 50 of those. Do I have any curved rails still? Oh, I'm trying to see. Um, I got 23 curved rails. So maybe what I'll do is grab some more stone. And then make some curved rail. Okay. And then let's make some... Let's grab this stone here. Let's make some more of these guys. Okay, so that should do it. Let's put some efficiency guys on these guys. 
this one as well. Yeah, so always the last the last guys, right? The guys on the end, you want to put that into because these ones don't really get used too much, which is in a way it's a good thing, but it's bad as well. So let's go down here. And it's going to be almost over. Ah. <laughs> Let's see here, how's the ammo doing on all these? Now some of these should be damaged. 96, 93, 98. So let's put 100 in these guys here. Let's keep going across. Okay. Uh, see what I mean about the ammo? Like, sure, I produce a lot of it, but man. And I'm not doing research at the moment. Let's do another research. Let's see if we can find one that just has the red. This one. Okay. Okay. Let's let's give it a save here since we're almost done. Man, this game is so hard to stop. So what I might do off camera, um, I might build more of the the grid for the with the accumulators and with the oh yeah let's check out the the power grid well I guess it's gonna be daytime now it'll be too late now but the accumulators let's see if we can watch yeah see so 75 is that megajoules so it's not megawatts but let's see here let's see for the past hour I think these are okay that's done night vision that's cool let's do that one let's research that one okay so you got bullets down there so this is where the trains are gonna come in basically and then they're gonna unload and everything's gonna move up oh yeah performance is down to 50% which is nice if they don't need to perform at full capacity, then that's good. Heavy oil, light oil, petroleum gas, crude. Cool. Well, thank you, everybody, for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episodes and all the episodes so far. I know I've enjoyed being with you guys. I know I need to expand this stuff, the steel stuff here a bit, as it is bit low and that research is done Let's see if there's another research here before we sign off I think there'll always be blue stuff now so maybe I'm gonna let everything accumulate a little bit because I'm noticing production isn't quite where it needs to be for all oh there are these guys let's research that production isn't quite where it needs to be for all of this stuff let's you know so there's lots to that's backed up these blue guys aren't being made because I need the advanced circuits and the advanced circuits I think I'm cannibalizing them for this thing so they're being taken by for the the efficiency modules and we can only make as many as that so maybe we'll just make what's left in here and just let it accumulate more maybe maybe that's kind of the plan what we'll do and we're being attacked down there again so we're definitely going to have to take care of those guys. But yeah, but thank you everybody for watching. I appreciate you watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye-bye.